All right, guys, let's talk about clearing your clip list of unused clips. All right, so in our last video, we talked about creating clip groups. We talked a little bit about the clip list, so I checked that out if you haven't checked that out already. But basically what I wanted to show you guys today is sometimes, for example, we delete things from our timeline, and then we end up having a bunch of junk clips here in the clip list because when we delete from the timeline, our audio files are still there in the audio files folder and they're still there in the clip list. So for example, the one I just deleted was this kick09. So I'm going to delete it again. You'll notice it's still here on this list, kick09 underscore, what is that, 12-16, I think. Um, so it's still there in the clip list and it's just taking up space. It might make things feel cluttered. You might want to clear that for whatever reason. And there's a really quick and easy way besides finding the specific files that you deleted. You may or may not know which ones those were. So there's a really quick and easy way to just have the computer find all the things you aren't using and clear them from the clip list. So I'm going to show you that today. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on this little triangle icon up here at the top right of the clip list. It's like a little circle with a little triangle inside it. And if you don't have the clip list, uh, displaying in your edit window, what you can do is you can just click here where it has a little line and then the little arrow pointing to the left icon and that'll open up that clip list for you. So you're just going to click on this drop down and what you want to do is you first want to have it select all the stuff that you're not using. So you just go to select and then you can have it choose um, unused or unused audio files except whole files or offline. So offline files are files that are missing from your session entirely. Uh, for example, they're not in the audio files folder anymore. This often happens, for example, when people import audio files from something like a sound library and they don't have it copy or convert the file on import. That's a big thing that I try to push for people to do because it, it can cause a lot of trouble. Um, but in this example, if you then disconnect from whatever your sound library is, it might your audio files might go offline and then you can't use them anymore. So, you, or you can't use them in the session until you reconnect the library. So that's what that would be. Um, usually what I'm doing is I'm selecting unused audio files. You can also choose unused audio except whole files. So that means it's not going to get rid of, you're not going to accidentally get rid of the whole files that, they are, that are the original files um, that, for example, are existing in your audio files folder. This only gets rid of um, the files that are like subclips that aren't uh, existing in your audio files folder. They're created within Pro Tools. So this is a good one if you want to be super safe about not accidentally getting rid of files that you may want to then drag in and edit um, and re-edit later. But what I do a lot of the time is I just do unused and it'll highlight all the clips that you aren't using. So I actually have a good amount in this session. And what you can do then is once it's highlighted the unused ones, you want to make sure you don't click around by accident and undo this highlight before the next step. But you can then go to clear here. And there are shortcuts for all of these. I don't really use this function often enough to learn the shortcuts, but if you do, you might want to learn these shortcuts that are listed here. So you just go to clear and it'll open up this little dialogue that asks you what you want to do. So for this dialogue, it's going to ask you to choose between a few options. So you can choose to remove selected clips from the session. You can choose to move to trash for the selected source files if possible. And then you can also choose whether to delete the selected source files permanently from the disk. So that's the most permanent option. You want to be very careful not to choose that unless you absolutely definitely know that you want to do that and you don't want to go back with that one. So I'll often do what I view as the safe option, which is just to remove the selected clips from the session. So that just clears your clip list. It makes things easier to look at, easier to see, um, easier to organize and maintain within the actual session. It doesn't save you as much actual storage space though, right? Because you're not actually moving files to the trash or deleting files. So just keep that in mind. If you're trying to clear up storage space, you might want to choose one of these other options. But then I just hit remove. And you'll notice when I hit remove, these will clear this list will clear here. So there we go. But that's basically it, how you can clear your clip list pretty quickly and efficiently in Pro Tools. It's more of an organizational tip, but I hope someone out there found this helpful. So let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon, so it's patreon.com slash noise. And my patrons get access to additional content. We have a Discord server we're all hanging out on. There's a book club that we've been doing. A few of us have been doing. It's been a lot of fun. So feel free to check that out if you feel so inclined. 
mind. It supports my channel. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. Oh my gosh. I went on a trip to Pittsburgh last weekend and um, traveling has just like, I had some residual COVID symptoms and then traveling has made them worse again. So I'm struggle bus right now, but I am trying to crank things out in time for grad school to start so that I can just focus on grad school for the first month. So hopefully I'll, I'm going to get this done and everything's going to be great.